All righty, so today I'm going to go over some basic HTML stuff. Um, also, like, if you haven't already watched this, then go ahead and pull up um, the lesson on, um, I have a lesson on moving around your command line. Um, I think you can find that if you go to the website, you can just look up moving around the command line right there. You can go ahead, follow that YouTube video, follow that GitHub link, it'll be there. Sweet. So if you haven't already done that, do that because we're about to use that here just to create our HTML project. So what I'm going to do here is inside of my terminal, I'm going to hit clear just so that way I have nothing. I want to make a nice blank slate for myself to do all of the assignments here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new directory and I'm going to call it Hig School because that's what we're at now. Or was it called the Higgs code? I don't know, whatever. I don't really care about the name of this course. Cool, make directory Higgs code is what we're calling it. So I'm going to CD into there now. And inside of this directory, let's make another directory for assignments. So for you, you are going to make your own directory uh, that basically this is where you're gonna store all your like little assignments or lesson follow alongs or whatever. I'm going to do that. I'm going to CD into assignments. And now we're going to finally make this project that we're about to work on. So we're going to create an HTML page right now. So we're going to make a directory and we're just going to call it my first HTML page. I'm going to go ahead, type in that MKDIR, type in the name of the folder. And now what I want to do is I want to open that up in VS Code. In order to open it up in VS Code, I'm going to use this code command and then type in the name of the thing I want to open. So bam, opening it up. Nice. And now you should have something open. Now yours might look a little bit different than mine. And if it does, that's totally OK. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I want to just make some files in here. In order to do that, I'm actually going to use the command line for this. So something I want to know, I want you to know, is that VS Code has its own terminal. So if I hit Command and J, it's going to pull out this little terminal at the bottom here. This terminal, but just for the record, it's the same exact thing as this terminal. The only difference is it's in a nice, clean, easy to read spot right here. So I can do the same sorts of things. I could type in ls, uh, ls. I could make a directory. Uh, I'm going to create files, though, is what I want to do. Now, if you note here, it already defaults to being cd'd into the folder that I opened. So when I first open, for example, this terminal here, I start at the root, or AKA that squiggly line. That's actually not the root. It's called the home. The root is a different thing. So we're at home, and then I had to CD into Higgs code. And then from there, I had to CD into my first HTML page. Or I'm sorry, it would be assignments. And then in there, my first HTML page. So if I wanted to use my terminal, I would have to make sure I'm CD'd into the right spot. However, if I open up code, if I use code to open up my first HTML page, it's going to always default to opening this terminal here to that folder. So that means now I don't have to CD anywhere. It's already good to go right here. And since I'm good to go, I'm just going to go ahead and create a few files. I'm going to create an index.js. Actually, we'll call it app.js. We won't necessarily use that file right now, but I just kind of want to show you what this might look like. We're going to make an app.js. We're going to make an app.css. And we are also going to make an HTML, an index.html. Bam. So with that one command, I just created all three of these files. Pretty fucking gnarly, right? Um, first thing I want to show you is there is a, in HTML, there's basically a few parts to your HTML document. And you don't have to be that good at remembering them because VS Code does a shit ton of that for you. So watch this. If you type in an exclamation mark, you should see these things pop up. 
The one that you want is this guy right here. And it's an Emmet abbreviation for like the base layer of, we call it boilerplate code. It sets up the basic HTML document. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is press tab here. And now what I see here is, hey, look, I already have a bunch of parts pulled up. And by the way, I just hid my terminal by using command J. So that way I can look at everything. I always pull it up using the same exact command. Command J, command J, command J, command J. Pretty awesome, right? So anyways, we are in here. And now what I want to do is just kind of talk a little bit about this. There is stuff in the head tag. The stuff inside of this head tag is what we would call metadata, but it doesn't actually affect what shows up on the website. Then there's the shit inside of the body. The body is literally the tags that wind up on the page. So to run this page, I have to use a tool that I had you install called Light Server. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to type in Light Server here. And since it's a package that I installed globally, I should have access to this command from my command line. I have to make sure that I am CD'd into my first page. Otherwise, it won't find an index.html. Now, a thing to note about this is I can't just create any HTML document that I want. It has to be an index.html in order for Light Server to work. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Light Server, and it's going to say, hey, look, your server is running. So now it even tells me that it opened it up for me. It says that it's running on localhost 3002. Okay. So now I'm on localhost 3002 and I don't see anything. Well, that's because you remember how before I said all of the tags that matter as far as visual stuff goes are inside of this body. So that means we first have to add something in here. So what I am going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add an H1 tag. Now, don't worry too much about this syntax. We'll break that down a little bit in a second. I am going to give this syntax I'm going to give this H1 a text of like my first HTML app. Give that a save and all that stuff that just happened. Don't worry about that. I have a configuration on my computer to auto format things. Perhaps in another lesson, I could teach y'all how to do that. So I'm going to give this a save and now I'm going to go over here. And if I refresh this, you'll see, cool. I have the HTML in here that I want. I'm going to take a bite of my omelet really quick. Awesome. Congratulations. You just made your first website. And unless you already did this before, in which case, this is not your first website, just like it is not my first website. Anyways, now when you go and learn about HTML, let's say you're using a source like Free Code Camp, HTML goes. <clears throat> pretty deep. There's a lot of concepts on it. It's not the hardest concept that you're going to learn pretty much as a whole, but there's just a lot to know with HTML. I'm going to break it down into the core components here. So the first thing that matters is we have an opening tag. So an opening tag then has a tag name inside of it. So in this case, this is an H1 tag. Now the tag name at the closing tag has to match it. So let's look at the syntax here. In general, you're gonna have a, any tag is going to take the form of this. If I say, give me a John tag, that would mean I need an opening bracket. Is what we, we call this an opening angle bracket is what we would call this. You could also call this a less than sign. I would have an opening angle bracket. Then I would have the name John then a closing angle bracket, an opening angle bracket, a forward slash, the name, the tag name again, in this case, John, and then the closing angle bracket. So that right there is how you make pretty much any type of HTML element. So if someone says, give me, there are some that are self-closing. So one that would be different would be like an image tag. If I do an image tag, you don't actually need a closing tag for that one. Um, I'm trying to think of a list of ones that are closing, but I think the main two that you should remember for right now are image and 
uh, let's say input are self closing. Now that's actually not properly commented out code, so I can't really write that there. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a second to just reflect on all the shit that we just learned. Because believe it or not, this was a lot of steps. And I like to keep these lessons short so you can learn a thin vertical slice at a time. I'm gonna go ahead, go in here and create a markdown file. We'll just call it readme.md. And I am going to give, let's, let's talk about what we've learned. First, with our terminal, uh, we were, we created a folder for this course, created an assignment folder to store our assignments in. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? We also uh, opened a new project. And let's talk about some of the steps that we had to do. We had to make a directory using mkdir. And then we had to open that directory using the code. Now, the things that we learned after that with HTML was, first of all, uh, let's learn that, let's throw that VS Code shortcuts. So the VS Code shortcuts we went over is command plus J pulls up and closes the terminal in VS Code. That's a good one. And then also, we can make an Emmet abbreviation for the boilerplate, for the HTML boilerplate. Oops. By typing in a exclamation mark and pressing enter. Now, as far as HTML goes, Any tag has an opening, tag name, and a closing tag name, unless it is, for right now, I'm not sure if this is 100% correct, but for right now, we're going to say unless it is an input tag or an image tag. I don't remember exactly what all of them are off the top of my head, but you'll know when you run into them. Cool. And that's all I'm gonna give you for now. Um, if you wanna learn more about HTML and keep learning about it, I would say go to freecodecamp.org, go to their responsive web design course, and you will learn a shit ton there. I have a whole nother video that I can probably link in this video on where to go to find that. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.